Hey Aries, how are you guys doing? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. This is your general tarot reading. We're going to take a look and see what messages are coming in for you guys in love, romance, and partnership. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, so you could be an Aries or your person could be an Aries. Take it how it resonates. This certainly could hit home um now through the end of may 2024 but it's timeless take it how it resonates and leave the rest um aries let's check you guys out right if you want a personal love reading you certainly could book a reading with me go to my website or even my etsy shop um i do have some sales going on and i also have a line of tarot and oracle decks this is one of them i'm using it today for your reading it's called the separation the breakup oracle okay um so for those of you guys who are going through some kind of separation whether it be an energetic separation physical emotional okay um we're gonna see what's happening here okay like share comment and subscribe i appreciate your love and support of my channel and what i do and without further ado let's jump right in <laughs> aries Okay, Aries, uh, we have private, okay? So um, this could be you, this could be a person. Reserved and self-restrained, slow to reveal true self, holds back information. So for some of you, this feels like someone you're dealing with who is closed off, okay? They're not letting you in. They're not revealing who they are, what they want, their intentions, their feelings, right? You get me? This is someone that's extremely guarded, okay? Um, and it feels like you're pulling teeth. It feels like Aries, it takes a whole lot of like poking and probbing to find out more about this person. So this is definitely someone that holds back. Maybe there's something from the past that they've gone through that makes them so reserved and closed off, okay? So definitely um, a little bit of a secretive energy. You could be dealing with someone that you feel is very secretive. And then we have vanish, okay? Abrupt disappearance, ghosted, okay? Gone missing, no reason or explanation. So for some of you, this private person, this extremely guarded person may have ghosted you recently. This could be someone that all of a sudden stopped communicating, stopped reaching out. Maybe you see them, you know, at work, but they don't really talk to you anymore. There's something that may have happened um, behind the scenes where all of a sudden they disappeared, okay? So we're gonna find out more about this person, like why, what happened here? Okay, maybe there's something that happened, but you didn't think it was that serious. Right? Um, you know how people perceive things differently, right? You could be like, oh, we just had a little disagreement, and the other person was like, oh, we had a big old blowout, a huge fight, and we're, you're like, what? Like, that did not even happen. All right, um, yeah, I know people like that. So, in the recent past, give me what happened with Aries and their person. Uh, ten of wands so someone has been feeling quite burdened they feel like there's a lot of heaviness something's been weighing them down and this could be emotional right someone just not expressing their needs or how they're feeling and so there's just a feeling of burden now page of wands in the verse someone may have lost interest and in the wheel so i almost feel like something here didn't happen for a reason why because the wheel is here aries so i feel like there is a divine the universe protecting you at all costs okay now, with the Page of Wands in the verse, yeah, this is someone that stopped trying, they stopped reaching out, they stopped calling you, they stopped texting you, they stopped flirting with you. You may have felt like, what happened? They were interested all in, right? They were so excited to see me, and all of a sudden, they're not. Um, yeah, that, that Ten of Wands is like something that may have came to an end in the recent past. Now, when I look at the current energy, we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Temperance, Sagittarius energy and a death okay another ending okay scorpio the energy is telling me that someone may have felt like i'm not ready i'm not in the place i want to be i can't give to you in any way that is long term right now someone feels like i can't make this a priority right knight of pentacles in reverse someone feels like i cannot pursue this right now the timing may just have been wrong because the temperance is here someone feels like it's you're the right person wrong time okay so there's some kind of ending and i feel like this ending could feel like it's happening out of nowhere right that ghosting energy like what happened like you just disappeared um that could have definitely been happening but i definitely feel like there's something that your person just felt like right now isn't the time so there's no sense in me continuing to lead you on or to continue to talk to you because of that now when i look at the external energy we have the sun in reverse someone isn't happy they definitely hide i'm seeing a lot of hiding behind things closed doors in the dark the sun in reverse this could be a leo or pisces with the hangman ace of pentacles in reverse eight of wands in a verse so 
Aries. I'm kind of getting the energy over. Ace of Pentacles in Virgo. A person did not want to start anything too serious. This is someone that says, I'm not ready for a relationship. I'm not ready to be a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Too big of a responsibility. I can't do it. So whatever the reason, Ace of Pentacles in Virgo, a person did not want to commit. They were not ready for um, a real established connection. They weren't really, really ready to move forward in anything long term that is bringing forth stability or security. That's kind of what I'm seeing here. I also feel the hey man is really telling me that someone was kind of stuck. They were thinking about something over and over. They were kind of like trying to figure things out. Um, but the hangman is telling me there's some kind of stuck, stagnant energy, and it's about their happiness. Would I be happy if I was in a relationship? Would I be happy if I had some kind of partnership? If I actually secured things with Aries, right? There's some kind of doubt um, and feeling of like maybe something not happening or working out that would make them happy. This is also someone that is not very confident in who they are and what they say, the sun, right? Um, and may also lack courage, okay, to do something. But overall, just not very happy in general, maybe regarding their own, um, their, their self, right? It may have nothing to do with you. With regard to how they see moving forward, I just see overall delays. Eight of Wands and Versus, person is not ready to move forward. This is someone that's not ready to communicate. So that could be why they're avoiding you. And there's just a lot of delays, okay? Nothing is moving forward with this energy at all. So again, that could be in a Leo. We have... Uh, Sagittarius, we have Scorpio and Pisces. Okay, so let's see what was happening in the outcome. The Empress, I love the Empress energy because this is the divine feminine. This is the wife, the mother. It's really about putting putting um putting energy into oneself, right? Investing in oneself, manifesting what you want. So Aries, if that's you, maybe you're really, really focused on yourself and your needs, and you're really growing, you're glowing, right? Um, we do have the Five of Cups here. Someone is definitely feeling like there's been a missed opportunity. They have a lot of regrets and the High Priestess in the verse. They're going to reveal to you something here that maybe you had no idea, Aries. This person may have seemed like they were okay with vanishing, going ghost, and not communicating. But you may find out this person comes back with the High Priestess in the verse and something is revealed to you about something they've been keeping to themselves. And it could be their own sorrow right five of cups i feel bad i feel awful what i did to you um that wasn't you know my intentions the high priestess of verse is something being revealed okay coming out something that was secretive or hidden and again it's regarding the five of cups their feelings and something they may have done that upset you but it also feels like it has backfired and hurt them too okay let's jump right in let's see what else we can find out like share comment and subscribe aries Friday to you guys. <laughs> All right, let's check the energy out. Private and vanish. Why is that the challenge? Why is that the challenge? Well, um, the Eight of Swords, okay, in reverse. So someone has been very much in your head. And I think that whoever this person is, like... If you've been in your head, they're also in their head, right? So someone here may have vanished, gone missing, disappeared, or even like ghosted because of their own insecurities, their own fears, their own overthinking, right? Feeling stuck, feeling trapped, and not being able to express it, right? So what happens when you don't express your feelings or what's really going on? It stays in within you, right? And it it turns into um, something bigger than it should be, right? Ten of Wands, it can create burdens. Eight of Swords, it may make you feel stuck and trapped and mentally conflicted. So I think that your person definitely has a lot they, they're going through without, you know, telling you. This is something you have no idea. In the recent past, Page of Wands, Ten of Wands, The Wheel. So in the past, the sun, this is someone that definitely saw happiness with you. They also saw the future with you. They saw that maybe there was an opportunity to really have it all, right? Family, home, whatever that makes that sun may bring. Three of Swords is here in the Six of Pentacles. But I definitely get a sense that someone here may have felt like it was too good to be true with the sun. Um, the Three of Swords, you know, they may have hurt you. They may have gotten themselves involved in a third party situation and hurt you. It could have been a betrayal. Um, but this could have been because of their own past insecurities and heartbreak trauma that they've gone through with other people, right? Perhaps. Now, in a recent past, I also feel that... This is someone that may have felt like I can't give you what you need, Aries, Six of Pentacles. I can't give to you, okay, in terms of something that may be um, reciprocated, right? I can't give you my time. I, I'm not ready. I can't give you my loyalty. Um, so there was a need for balance 
reciprocity and I just don't feel like your person was in the place to give those things okay even though the sun they saw you as very someone that made them happy and someone that they sought a future with okay I think the burdens come from this three of swords something that they're going through or dealing with still from their past now the current energy there was an ending but the temperance is like give me some more time ten of cups in a verse someone isn't happy nine of cups in a verse very much unfulfilled in the wheel so someone is going to um realize something here because the death brings change and transformation so there's something that could be actually working in your favor that you're not seeing right now Aries and it comes down to like temperance patience understanding you know something here feels like with time your person's going to realize that you know what this is something I actually want right five of cups ten of cups in verse your person is realizing how miserable they are without you in their life and so they may actually rethink about contributing to the connection here with the knight of pentacles they're going to rethink about the idea of maybe investing in some way and I do see overall good energy the wheel coming in for you and your person Aries now let's get a sense with the per what your person the hangman is thinking about what's keeping them stuck the two of cups in a verse yeah your person's like i'm not ready for that, <laughs> that that relationship that finding my person right giving to just one person and that's it it feels like your person is kind of contemplating a lot like is this the one right someone you know it's someone right in front of them is like the perfect person everything they ever wanted and still they're questioning it that's kind of what i'm getting at there are a lot of delays here i think your person's creating and i think that ultimately um, something is going to slow down to a point of not moving forward and all of a sudden a new beginning comes in ace of wands okay so that's kind of what i'm feeling things are going to feel dark things are going to feel like it's over and done with because a death card is here right and the ten of wands and the recent past just feeling heavy 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 to the point where it stops working but with the wheel a lot of good change coming in and i think the biggest thing is that your person with the sun in reverse is going to get to a point where it's like i see no good coming out of this i, I see that perhaps i'm just hitting myself with a foot right I'm kind of that energy um and so there's a new beginning on horizon coming from your person ace of wands they're going to want to start things back up they're going to come in with some kind of creative idea or plan to move this forward okay this is after a breakup with the two of cups in reverse this is after your person maybe turns their back on the connection and again after a long period of thinking the hangman and looking at things from a different perspective give me the ace of pentacles and the eight of wands in reverse so there's the page of wands a new beginning okay after something here that may have fallen short page of wands is telling me they're wanting to do things a little bit differently okay they feel like they missed an opportunity with you and so they're kind of coming in with um fun with passion with excitement and they, with desire this is someone who does desires you they they they're attracted to you right now with the empress a lot of beautiful energy especially for the divine feminine this is really about investing in yourself um building okay yourself Give me the energy. Someone may feel like they missed out on an opportunity with the Empress, with the wife, the mother, the fool in reverse, right? Because of their own trust issues. Someone is going to want to hold on to this. Um, but I think it comes down to your person really revealing their truth, revealing what happened, why they gave up on this Empress energy. This is also someone that has a lot of regrets, five of cups, that maybe they're coming clean about, they're revealing to you. There's also, again, distrust for maybe women, distrust for um, love the trust in themselves there's something that's going to be revealed to you as to why they may have not tried why they vanished why they ghosted why they were so private there's something here why they were so guarded right because that is something here that um has perhaps sabotaged the relationship now with the empress i almost feel like a lot of you you may be um you may be embarking on an entirely new journey, maybe away from this person because of fool in reverse. You may not be willing to take on a new beginning with this person. Um, you may not be investing yourself in them. But the Empress, it feels like this can be entirely new. It can be given to yourself and only yourself. Um, but it really comes down to the decision that you make, Aries, okay? Um, but with the Empress overall, I just think this is a very positive card for you guys and really um, expanding, manifesting, and getting what you desire. Aries, that is what I'm seeing for you guys like share comment and subscribe and i'll check you guys out soon have a great weekend